गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू टुडे वसीलिया Open your microphone, please. A little tighter, but I'm fine. Oh, okay. That's nice. So, what did you do today? Um, I cleaned my house, but más de lo normal. What we say? <laughs> oh, more than usual. More than usual, and oh. I study with my son with. Uh, he has an exam tomorrow. Oh, okay. How old is your son? And six years. Oh, he's little. Okay. Yes. Mm. All right. That's good. Okay, great. I'm glad that you had a good day, a busy one, right? Happy. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Ana del Carmen, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. Um, okay. I'm tired. Oh, a little tired. <laughs> yeah, and it's Tuesday still, right? <laughs> <laughs> and how about your day? How was it? Um, I go to the uh, school, um, my work, and okay. I clean everything school oh uh, with my with my co-worker yes oh i'm tired had a lot to do today <laughs> yes uh -huh. okay that's good and let's see adriana good evening good evening how are you today adriana I'm fine. Good. How was your day? Um, a little busy. Was busy. What did you do? Um, I study all day. Oh, you had to study. Okay. All right, that's good. And how about the platform, Adriana? Have you finished? Yes. You're done. All right, great. Daniel Alberto, good evening. Ailey, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you today, Ailey? I'm fine. Great. How was your day? Mm, good. All right. What did you do? Mm, come. What did you do? ¿Qué hizo ahora? Um, I held my cousin. <laughs> okay. With the homework or what? Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. All right, that's nice. Very well, Ailey. And let me see, Daniel Alberto, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Daniel? Uh, my day was super stressful. <laughs> oh, really, what happened? Yeah, yeah, I was working all a long day. Oh, okay. Yeah, you had a lot to <laughs> but, do. Uh, but I'm getting ready right now to receive the class. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. That's nice. Thank you, teacher. And Daniel, have you finished the work in the platform? Yeah, teacher, teacher I done. finished. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, very well. Congratulations. Uh, last, uh, uh, the last week, I, uh, thank you, teacher. Okay. Let's see, Anderson. The last, the last week, I finished my, 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 my homework. All right, perfect, Daniel. Anderson, good okay, evening. Okay, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, very fine. Great. How was your day? A little tired, but 
It was good. Okay, your day was tiring. What did you do today? Uh, studying, do a homework of the university. Oh, okay. All right, that's good. Let me see, Maria Pineda, good evening. Maria Pineda, good evening. Hola. Perdón, teacher, no le cambié el nombre. Oh, okay, yes. Yes, it was. Okay, don't worry. Okay, you can do it now. Maybe you can go to participants and, and change your name. Ahorita, güey, ¿cómo le cambio el nombre a esto? Ya sabía. De participantes o, bueno, igual sobre su, sobre su propia eh, imagen, sobre su cuadrito, también creo que sale la like. Yo te la voy a yes. Ahí cumple, sale no, en los tres puntitos, rename. Tengo problemas con la, la aplicación. Tal vez me okay. salga un ratito. Ok, no te preocupes, está bien. Carlos Antonio, good evening. Hey, teacher. How are you, Carlos? So, so. Oh, so, so, teacher. Today is, was, was very, very interesting, very hard. Oh, okay. You had a hard day. Yeah, okay. hard day, yes. Yeah. Very tired. Okay. Yeah, so it's almost over. Thank God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, so let's see. I think we're ready to start. So let's go on, right? Let's get the ball rolling. Uh, we are going to start by checking yesterday's exercises just before we get to there. Um, do we have any questions about any of the topics or exercises in the platform? Maybe not. Okay. All right, so let's continue with the exercises that we were doing yesterday then. So uh, the first one was uh, talking about your daily routine. So let me ask some of you about your daily routines. Let's see, Daniel Alberto, what's yeah. your daily routine? Well, my, my daily routine start uh, from uh since five five I am okay uh to and finish uh 11, 11 p.m so my daily routine uh basically I do many things for example mm -hmm. play in the piano and play in the piano or practice my English and walking out my with my daughters and so so <laughs> that's it okay interesting Daniel yeah. okay thanks for sharing Carlos okay, Antonio just... what can you tell us about your daily routine yes uh, my routine I start to 3 a.m I wake up mm -hmm. uh, I wake up in this hour uh, I'm going, I am going to go to the work 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. Start uh, my work. Uh, start my work uh, 7, 7, 15 a.m. to uh, 45 p.m. Okay. Uh, travel to, uh, to my house uh, about one hour, one hour and a half. Uh, six or, or six thirty. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I leave right my home. house. <laughs> yes, I, I take my dinner and a a a p.m. start English class. All ten, right. Ten uh, ten thirty. Uh, around 10 30, uh, I'm gonna go to my my bed and I sleep. 
<laughs> All right, you have a long day. Yes. Many things to do, okay, interesting. Okay. Let's see. Thank you. Basilia, what can you tell me about your daily routine? I get up um, 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. and prepare the breakfast with my husband and Tom. And then prepare the material for the class with my son and clean the house, housework, mm -hmm. and the lunch. And no, yesterday. Then I study with my son. And the night I eat the dinner at 6 p.m. on 7. And then I study English. <laughs> 8 p.m. and I go to bed at uh, night 30. All right, very well, Basilia. Thanks for sharing. Ana del Carmen, what can you tell me about your daily routine? Mm, I wake up um, at 5 a.m. I get up, um, I take my breakfast breakfast I go at 6 a.m. I go to the, my work at 6 a.m. Um, I regresar teacher. Come back. Come back at, at 6 p.m. I take my dinner at 7, 7 p.m. I the cancer teacher. I rest. Rest? Yes. I rest um, um, at 8 p.m. Um, I go to the English class and oh. um, finish class is I go to my bed. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Anna, for sharing. All right, so from the things I heard, a couple of observations. Remember that uh, when we mention a specific time, uh, please turn off your microphones, everyone. Okay, so remember that whenever we mention a specific time, we use at, for example, when you say I wake up, a.m. for instance then you can say I go to work at 6 30 and so on but every time you mention a specific time a specific clock time you use the preposition at at 5 at 6 30 at 7 at 8 at 9 45 and so on so we use at. Then another thing is that we use the preposition at whenever we mention night, right? So you say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, but you say at night. So at night, I have an English class, for instance. So you can say, for example, in the morning, I go to school, I uh, teach some classes, then I come back home. In the afternoon, I clean my house. In the evening, I have an English class. And then at night, I go to bed, for instance. Then uh, the verb that you asked me for a night was rest. Let me write it for you. It's this one, right? Rest. That is when you go to bed. Oh, let me get a different color. There we go. That is the verb. and. For pronunciation, we got this word is arrive. Arrive. Can you repeat it, please? Arrive. 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 And we also okay. got this one, which is breakfast. Breakfast. Repeat, please. Breakfast. 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 Good. So we got rest, arrive, breakfast. Breakfast. Teacher, a question. Tell me. 
teacher? Yes. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, a few minutes ago, I told us, I told us, uh, for example, I'm going to score save because I, I, I read to, mm -hmm. to, I got a two to work and say it's different or, or what, what, or mm -hmm. similar to I got a to work or I'm gonna go to work? Well, what depends the, the, the situation? Well, yes, it depends on the time when you say it. For example, now that we're talking about routines, we use the simple present. So it goes like, I wake up at six, I take a shower, I eat breakfast, I go to work, because it is something that is part of your routine. You do it every day. So you say, mm -hmm. I go to work at seven, right? So mm -hmm. uh, you say it that way because you do it every day. It's a repeated action. Mm -hmm. Then if, if in the morning, for example, uh, you were asked, where are you going, for instance? Then you can say, mm -hmm. I'm going to go to my work or I'm going to my work. So it all depends on the moment when you say it, mm -hmm. right? Okay, mm -hmm. thank you a lot. Okay, no problem. All right, let's continue with exercise two. Here we got to write some comparative adjectives, right? So let's write them. We got the comparative for, for big, what is it? Bigger. Bigger. Bigger than. Bigger. Right? Bigger than. Bigger than. What is the comparative for old? Older, Older than. Older than. Older than. Nice. One for nice. Nicer than. Nicer than. Nicer than. Pretty becomes. Prettier than. Prettier. Prettier than. Cheap. Cheaper than. Cheaper than. Expensive. Expensive. More expensive. More expensive than. More expensive than. And for good, we got better than. Better than. Better better than. than. What's the one for bad? Worse. 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 Than. Worse than. Okay, let's practice pronunciation. Everybody repeat. Bigger than. Bigger than. Bigger than. Bigger than. Older than. Older than. Older than. Older than. Nicer than. Nicer, nicer than. Prettier than. Prettier than. Cheaper than. Cheaper than. More expensive than. More expensive than. Better than. Better than. than. Worse than. Worse than. Okay, this word is then, then. 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 Okay, good. Okay. Now let's continue with the next exercise, which was making sentences using comparatives. So all you had to do is to write the sentences, right? The first one it was cars, bicycles, and the adjective fast. What's the sentence? The car, the car is faster than bicycle. Cars are faster than are bicycles. Faster than. Bicycle. Very good. Next one, elephants, ants, and heavy. Elephants are, are more heavy. Yeah, what's the comparative for heavy? Heavier, heavier. Heavier, right? Heavier. Elephants are heavier, heavier than. Heavier and than. Heavier than. Ants. Ants. Okay. Ants. Do you all understand the meaning of ants? For yes. me. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Next one. Brother, me, and handsome. My brother, more handsome. Is more handsome. My brother. 
My brother is more handsome, more handsome than me. Than me. Good. Next is. He's a is... liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can change yeah, it if you like. To write. <laughs> I'm more handsome than my brother. <laughs> okay, the next my brother, one. Yes, is <laughs> next one is Mount Everest and Mount Blanche in high. Mount Everest uh, yeah. is highest than Mount Blanc. Mount, Mount Everest, Mount Everest yes. is higher. Is higher. Higher than, than Mount, 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 Blanc. Mount, Blanc. Mount Blanc. Okay, next one says snakes, worms, and long. Snakes Snake are longer. Out. Snakes are longer. Longer, longer, longer than, than water, and worms. worms. Okay, worms. then we got February, June, cold. February is colder than June. February is colder than June. Is cold. colder than June. The, um, John. Next one is Chinese, Portuguese, and difficult. Chinese, Chinese is, Chinese more, is difficult more difficult than Portuguese. Than than Portuguese. Portuguese. It's more difficult than Portuguese. Chinese is more difficult than Portuguese. Portuguese. Or you can say it the other way around, right? Portuguese is more difficult than Chinese. It all depends on what you think. Next one. I, my parents, and younger. Oh, there we have the comparative yeah, already. I am, I am younger. Yeah, and younger. Mm -hmm. younger than my I am younger, younger than, I am younger than, than my, parents. my parents. Of course. Next one, my pencil, yours, and short. Well, my, pens my, my pencil, pencil is shorter than yours. My pencil is shorter than yours. Butterfly, bird, and pretty. Butterfly is prettier. Pretty. The butterfly is prettier than the bird. Okay. Spirit. Number 11 says rhino, zebra, and big. Prettier. Rhino, rhino is bigger than zebra. Bigger than the zebra. And the last one, parrot, canary, and noisy. Is noiser than canary. Is noisier than the canner. Noisier. Canner. Canner. Okay, there we go. We got cars are faster than bicycles, elephants are heavier than ants. My brother is more handsome than me. Mount Everest is higher than Mount Blanche. Snakes are longer than worms. February colder than June. Is colder than June. Chinese is more Chinese difficult, is more than, difficult Portuguese. than Portuguese. I am younger than my parents. Mm -hmm. My pencil uh -huh. is shorter than my yours. My pencil is shorter than younger. The butterfly, the butterfly is, is pretty prettier than the bird. Than the bird. And pencil. the rhino is no. bigger than the zebra. Mm -hmm. And the parrot is noisier than the canary. And now please repeat faster than. Faster than. Heavier than. Heavier than. Heavier than. than. More handsome than. More handsome than. Higher than. Higher than. Longer than. Longer, longer than. than, colder than, colder, colder than. than, more difficult than, more, more difficult, difficult than. than, younger than, younger than, than. shorter than, shorter than. than. 
prettier than. Prettier than. Prettier than. Bigger than. Bigger than. Bigger than. Bigger than. Bigger than. Noisier than. Noisier than. Also say um, Chinese. Repeat me. Chinese. 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 Portuguese. 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 Butterfly. 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 Bird. 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 Rhino. 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 Zebra. 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 Parrot. 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 Canary. 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 Warms. 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 February. 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 June. 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 Okay. Now let's go to the next one. Uh, you had to make a comparison uh, between the city, the living in the city living. and living in a town. Yeah, in town. So tell me about it. What's better, um, living in a city or living in a town? What are some of the things you took into account in the comparison? Anybody? Living in a city town. Comparison. Let me see. Yeah, what is the meaning of living in a town? Living in a town, eh, vivir en un pueblo. Oh. Um, um, let's see, Anderson, what can you tell me about living in a city and living in a town? Anderson Garcia? Okay, how about Boris? Boris? What can you tell me? What's better, living in a city or living in a town? Um, city is better than, than town for me. Why? Okay. Tell me why. Uh, because there are so many things. Uh, it's, it's nearer than... Uh, downtown to hospital okay. uh, to banks and another service all right okay good boys thanks for participating Ailey what do you think what's better living in a city or living in a town um I think and um, living in the door is is here no sé cómo se dice tranquilo, creo que es así. It's quiet. It's quiet. Quiet or um, quieter, if you're comparing quieter. And um, living in a city is, is noisier because of the traffic. Yes. That's correct. Thank you, Ailey. Let's see, Charlie, what can you tell me about living in a city or living in a town? What's better? I prefer living in a city. Why? Because, because there are a, um, a commercial centers and, and other things. Okay, all right, good. Um, let me see, Diana Yamilet. What's better, living in a city or living in a town? Diana Yamilet. Okay, Cecilia Estrada. Um, I think Living in a city is better because the places are nearly. The places are near, okay. Anything else, just that? Yes. Okay, all right, thank you for participating. Let me ask Ana Veronica. 
Ana Verónica, what's better for you? Uh, for me, living in a town is better than living in a city because in a town, there are no smoke. Okay. So uh, the town is cleaner, right? Than the city. Yes. Very well, Anna. Thanks. Diana Lisette, what do you think? Living in a city. Why? Because he, everything is closer. Okay. All right, very well. Let me see, Francisco Alexander. What's better for you? Hi. Uh, I think it's better in a town because mm -hmm. uh, the... Um, all all the products is it's cheaper for example the vegetable and fruits um it, it is more it's more cheaper and the the, the climate is a, a weather yes the weather the weather is different and in my case i um I go running. I go running and is I think is is better than the than the city because it's less dangerous. Okay, it's less dangerous. Yes. All right. Very nice. Thanks. Okay. So uh, you did very well with the comparisons. Now let's continue with today's work. We're going to start with some listening. So we are listening to a conversation and we have to get the answers to these four questions. We have to answer a, according to what we listen to. So it would be, what does Rita's brothers do? What does Rita's sister do? Where do Rita's parents live? And what do Rita's parents do? Let me send the questions through the chat so you have them. And I'm going to play the conversation. So let's see. So remember, you have to listen and get the answers to the questions. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing right now. So we listen. My sister works. Okay, can you hear that? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, let's listen and get the answers then. Are you ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation and practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where we... Okay, let's listen one more time. Practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. 
She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31. Exercise 3. Okay, this is the second part of the conversation to answer the last two questions. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay, let me play that conversation. second part one more time. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So, what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. <clears throat> oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay, did you get the answers? Yes? Good. Okay, so let's see. Uh, tell me, what does Rita's brother do? Photographer. Yes. Her brother, Rita's brother is a photographer. Yes. Photographer, right? Yes, it it's mentions that he's a wildlife photographer. Yes, wildlife ah, well, photographer. Like, uh, sorry. Yes. Very well. Okay, writer. Uh, okay, next one. What does Rita's brother, I mean, what does Rita's sister do? She works in the government. She works for the government. Tell me. She's an significa will will life. Wildlife. Wildlife. Yeah. Wildlife. Thank you. Perdón. Vida salvaje. Vida salvaje. Ay, gracias. Okay. All right. Next one. Uh, where do Rita's parents live? They, they live in Texas. They live in Texas. They live in Austin, Texas. They live in Austin, Texas. Okay. And what do Rita's parents do? Mm, uh, Rita father is a teacher, is a teacher in father the university. Is a father is a teacher. Uh -huh. Her father, his father is and a carpenter. Her father is a carpenter. Okay, good. So that is what we got, right? Um, number one, the wild, wild the wildlife photographer. Then a uh, Rita's sister works for the government. She works in a secret project, right? And Rita's parents live in Austin, Texas. And uh, they are a teacher and a carpenter. Now let's continue by listening, well, watching the video about the present continuous. Then we'll explain it and we practice. So let me go here. We get the lesson objective. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask and answer questions using the present continuous. So let's listen. <coughs> no. 
Are you ready to study present continuous? I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes-no questions in present continuous. Be plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Okay, so that is the explanation about the present continuous. So let's take a look at some uh, important things we need to know about it. First of all, for um, using the present continuous, we need to know how to change the verbs to the ing form, right? Which I believe you have studied before. So let's just review it very quickly. We get a first rule, which is the general rule. Uh, so the general rule says that we just add ing, right? Add ing to the base form of the verbs. For example, in the case of work, the so verb work becomes working. And another example could be build, which becomes building. We also got go, which takes ing and becomes going. And we got do, which becomes going, doing. Going. So there you go. As you see, we take the base form of the verb and we just add ing. Oh, here I'm missing the, the R. Okay, so there we go. Work, working, build, building, go, going, do, doing. Then we get another rule, which is for the verbs ending in, in the vowel e. Let me change the color. So for verbs ending in E, what we have to do is to drop the E and add ing. For example, in the case of use, we drop the E and get this one, right? Using, instead of the E, we have ING, using. And we also have another example, which is live, which becomes living. 
Another one is um, great. Got grinding. And then we have move, which becomes moving. And then another rule to take into account is the one for the verbs that that uh, end in I E for verbs ending in for verbs ending in I E we have to change the I E or why so we got a couple of this for example when we talk about lie then the ing form for this one is this lying so we change this ie for a y and we get this then we add ing then another example could be die. We do not have many of these verbs, but let me just mention a couple. Die becomes dying. And then we have a tie, which is tying in the, in the ing form. Then another rule that we must take into account would be Okay, it would be for words or for verbs that are one syllable. Mm -hmm. And follow the, the structure consonant, vowel, consonant. Then in those ones, we have to double the last consonant and add ing. For example, in the case of the verb run, which is consonant, vowel consonant, right? Then we get to double the last consonant and we get running. Another one is sit, which becomes sitting. And we also have get. In the ing form, it's getting and plan which becomes planning. So those are four rules that you should take into account when making the ing forms of the verbs. The first one is the general rule. We add ing to the verb and we got work, working. Then if we have a verb ending in e, we drop the e, we delete the e, and we add ing instead, use using, for verbs that end in IE, we have to change the IE for the Y and then add ING, lie, lie. And then we got the one syllable verbs that follow the structure consonant, vowel consonant, where we have to double the last consonant and add ING. For example, in the case of run, which becomes running. Now let's practice pronunciation. Everybody repeat. Work, working. Work, 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 working. Build, building. Build, building. 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 Go, going. Go, go going. going. Do, doing. Do, do doing. doing. Use, using. Use, using. using. Live, living. Live, living. Gride, grinding. Move, moving. Move, moving. Lie, lying. Lie, lie, lie. Die, dying. Die, die. Tie, tying. Tie, tying. Run running. Run, run running. Sit sitting. Sit, 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 sit. Get getting. 
Get Get planning. Planning. Plan planning. Plan planning. Plan planning. Okay, so that is what we have regarding the verbs in ing. Now, uh, what else do we need to make a present continuous sentences? Well, first of all, we need to know that we use the present continuous. We're talking about actions that are happening now at the moment of speaking. For example, I'm talking to you, right? I'm talking to you. I'm teaching this class. Then we also use it for referring to the future. We can use it to refer to near future. For example, when I say that tomorrow I'm working. So that is near future, right? Tomorrow I'm working. I use the present continuous to express that. Then how do I make sentences using the present continuous? Well, this is a structure I have to follow. We use a subject first, then we add the verb, the verb be, which could be in the form of am, um, is, or are in the present. And then we have the verb in ing in the complement. That's pretty much it. So um, let's make some examples. Let me make it. Okay, let's get some examples. Um, I already gave you some. I am talking to you. What could be some other examples of sentences using the present continuous? I am, I am, I am studying English. Okay, I am studying English. I am listening to music. I am listening to music. Okay, let's try to use different subjects. Let's make some using you. You are no. You are teaching the class. You, you are, are teaching, teaching the English class. English. Good. Another one using you. You, you are, are reading a book. You are reading a book. Oh. You are okay. learning. You are learning English right now. You are learning English right now. He's eating your dinner. Okay, he's eating, but not your. He's eating his dinner. He's eating his dinner. Okay, let's make another one using he. He is drinking the coffee. Drinking coffee. Drinking coffee. Another one. He's, He's brushing. Washing. Brushing. Your teeth. His no. teeth. His. His, His teeth. teeth. Now let's make some using she. She is writing a letter right now. She's writing a letter right now. Okay, another example using she. She is watching a horror movie. She is watching a movie, a horror movie. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like more. more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another one, please. She. She is singing a beautiful song. She is singing a beautiful song. Okay, uh, so we got I, you, he, beautiful she. Uh, let's use it. It is raining. It is raining. Great. Any other? Using it, it is depending on you. It is depending it on is you. It is depending on you. Okay, let's include. But um, well, 
sorry, I'm I'm a little doubtful about this one because yeah, it should be it depends on you. So because depend would be a um, a stated verb. So yeah, let's change it better. It's it's sometimes it sometimes I hear sometimes I hear some a friend of my when when mm -hmm. I say something uh, they are always saying me it's depending on you man. Mm, yes, depends. so we should say it depends. It depends, it depends on you. On so it okay. Yeah, it would be present simple. Uh, okay, so let's try to make another example using it and the present continues. It is happening right now. It is happening right now. Good. Okay, now let's it's use good. we. We are learning English. <laughs> we are learning English, okay. Learning English. We Every are. night. <laughs> yes, right? We are, we are receiving uh, English class. We are receiving, a, in that case, it's better to use take. Taking, we are taking mm -hmm. an English class. Okay, and now let's make some using they. They, what can you tell me? They are traveling right now. They are traveling right now. They are, they are playing soccer right now. They are playing soccer right now. Any other? They are eating, they are eating pizza. They are eating pizza. Very well. So there we got plenty of examples, right? You see how we start with the subject, I, you, he, she, it, we, or they, or it could be any names, right? Any people, anything that you want to mention as a subject. Then we use the verb be in the different forms, am, are, and is. And notice that we can also use the contracted forms here. So here, instead of saying I am, you can say I'm, I'm talking. You are, your, he is, it could be his, she mm -hmm. is, could be she's, she's grinding, or it is, mm -hmm. it's, it is raining, it's raining, we are learning English, we're learning English. And also here, they are traveling right now. And then we use the contracted form, they're playing soccer, right there. So we can use both the full a form or the complete form or the contracted form of the verb be. And then we add the verb in the ING form. We got talking, studying, listening, teaching, reading learning, drinking, brushing, and many others, right? After that, we only add a complement. And so notice that it's very important to use both of the elements, the verb be and the verb in ing. If you miss any of those, and then the sentence would not be correct. So we always have to use both the verb be, um, is or are in a verb in ing. It is important to always uh, keep those elements in the sentence. Okay, do we have any questions about this? Any doubts? Mm -hmm. Not teacher. No, teacher. Not teacher. All right, so we are going to stop over here because of the time. Thanks everyone for participating. Take care and sleep well. I'll see you Thank tomorrow. You teacher, you too. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Nice. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.